Spirals and checks have been hitting the internet pretty hard recently, but you can do any shape you like, including things like hidden messages if you can't see the message here right away. Try leaning to the side or moving back a bit. See it now? You can use it for animations too, and the method works great in Automatic 11.11 or Comfy UI. Yes, hello and welcome to more Nerdy Road and Geekery as I guide you through an incredibly easy but fun trick you too can do at home. So about a week ago, there was this post about a checkered village. As you can see there, it's a really simple workflow. It's just using QR Monster Control Net for Stable Diffusion 1.5. I've been playing with this method for a while since then, so for a whole bunch of examples, you can check out my Twitter, oh, that's X now, isn't it? You can check out my X feed. That works really well. Anyway, some of the animations I can't show here as YouTube doesn't like people washing their otters, but there are a few I can show. So for example, here's a check one that makes things look a little bit like a waffle face there. My waffle face alien I do rather like, but as you can see, the grid is moving in. You can also do it with letters. So there is just spelling out the word, which you may be able to see if you're really eagle-eyed, wonder what that is. You can do logos, little smiley faces you can do. So you can make cakes smile. Who doesn't want to do that? You can make it waves or you can do leaves and things as well. So all sorts of things, hidden messages, animations, and of course, spirals. Who doesn't like spirals? If you've never used Stable Diffusion or Comfy UI, never done any sort of AI art before, then your best bet is to use this Illusion Diffusion website. The links for all these things are down in the video description. Now, you may have to wait and share computes with others, but it does get the job done. Just pick an image at the top there. You've got lots of different ones to pick from. There's a prompt there. So I've selected an Aztec village scene with busy streets and then just hit run. And there you go. You get your spiral art. For the automatic 1111 fans, this is very easy. Just make sure you have that control net extension installed. So go over to extensions available, find control net and install that if you haven't got it already. And then the next thing you'll need is this monster QR control net model. So over to files and versions, download that. The one I used was the smaller one there and that you will need to download into your SD Web UI control net directory. And in there, there's a subdirectory models. So like you can see there, that's where you put that control net model. Then back over to Stable Diffusion, make sure you've got that control net enabled and put your black and white image in there. Very easy to create black and white images of your own. You can just use any paint program you like and make any sort of spiral. So very easy to make a black and white image to pop in there. With that enabled, of course, you want to select the model. So there it is, QR code monster. It hasn't got a, a quick selector at the top there. Control net weight, that's usually fine at around 0.7 up to about 1.4. 1.3 and leave it on balanced. The other two don't seem to work very well. Okay, so let's throw in a prompt. Now, of course, you can use the one from that Reddit page there, and this one is fairly similar to that. It's a medieval castle with busy streets and all that sort of thing. I'm going for an impressionist paint style here, and there we go. We have our spiral art. Now, that's pretty good, but you'll probably want to make it a little bit more fancy won't you? I know that's the sort of thing that I like doing. So let's throw in another prompt there just to enable composable diffusion. And we'll also turn the high res fix on. Pick your favorite upscaler. Now I'm only going to upscale it here by one and a half times, slightly lower on the denoising strength somewhere around 0.6. And that will give us a new image that we're going to then send over to image to image and upscale that even further further and give it even more detail too. Okay, so there's the high res fixed version now. Let's send that over to image to image. If you don't have any of these models, you can also go over to Hugging Face and there's a whole big pile of them there. And the particular one we're using here is the tile model goes in the same place as that QR monster. So here we go down to control net, 
enable that. This one does have a thing so we can pick it there. Tile upscale. Now this time we want the control net to be ever so slightly more important. And we drop this denoising strength down a little bit as well. Normally between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 is fine. Gonna leave that on 0.37. I also personally like to change the sampling method there. Just pick a different one and uh, oh yes of course also resize once again. So we're going to be doing another little bit of upscaling. I like to do around 1.25 here. So let's see what that comes out like. All right, excellent. We've got a lot more detail. It's a lot higher resolution. And then just for the final touch, you can send that over to extras and resize once again to whatever size you like. I like to do about one and a half in here. And there you go. You've now got an image which is about 2000 by 2000. So that's that's quite nice. And of course, for hidden text, it's exactly the same process. You just replace that image with a text image of your choice. As for animations, I'm just going to do a quick switcheroo here over to Comfy UI to keep all the Comfy UI people happy as well. So this is the basic Comfy UI workflow. This is as simple as it can get just to show you how it works. There it is, loading the QR monster safe tensors model, going through the controller and then into your sampler and you get your village. Oh, and if you want either of these Comfy UI workflows, you can just grab them for free over there on the very comfy nerd. I'll be uploading them in a minute. They will be two extra PNG files there. You can just download. So here is the animate diff version that I've been working on recently. You can just use a single image here or multiple images frames there from a given directory. That's the special effect that we saw at the beginning there with a the waffle faced alien. Now it's easy to switch between modes. You can just drag that image over onto there for example if you want to do a single image or there you go uh, now I'm doing the frames and like you can see up there it's quite easy to see when the image is very small that it says nerd but if we uh, open that up in a new tab to see it full size there you go there you go it's not bad is it as you can see there's plenty of scope for playing with light and shapes in your animations now so enjoy the spirals and see you on the next nerdy rodent video